evening kids first off let me say thanks to everyone who watched and liked and favorited and commented on my atheism plus critique video or hit me up on twitter about it for the most part the comment section stayed pretty civil well with the exception of one user river whatever the fuck her name is but I checked other videos like Cardinal Virtue's video critiquing A+, and she ranted on in his comment section too, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> so uh, I decided to make this addendum to my critique video because a uh, thing I saw in the comment section was that it seemed like my intentions or reasons for not being on board with Atheism Plus weren't really coming through, so I'll just go over them here. As I said, I'm aware that for some people, they think or believe their stances on social justice issues came as a natural consequence of being an atheist, or they think or believe that's how it generally is for people who are atheists, but I disagree. Atheists, just like any other person who subscribes to a particular ideology, and just like the vast number of racial ethnicities in the world, are not a monolith. That's the first thing. Second thing, I personally don't think it's a good idea to merge atheism with any other social, political, or cultural ideology because Frank, frankly, it, it kind of happens enough on its own already, especially amongst the ultra-religious and certain political parties. You know, the word atheist itself still carries a, a good amount of stigma and negative connotations with it, even with the, you know, new wave of atheism going on. You know, just look at the right wing's response to God being omitted from the, the DNC's platform. And you see what happened with that, right? There was no mention of non-believers in any of the Democratic speakers' speeches who spoke that night, with the exception of this one guy. His name escapes me at the moment, but he was a gay senator from the West Coast, I think. You know, his partner was there, and their children were there, and he, he shouted out non-believers briefly, but it was pretty much the only one that we got. You know, so uh, no mention of non-believers in President Obama's speech either. So, and then of course, on top of that, fucking Timothy Timothy Dolan leads the Democratic National Convention in prayer towards the end. So, we still have enough work to do as it is, as just being atheists. So, do we really want to make things more difficult for us by conflating atheism with all these other social and political issues and ideologies on top of all that negative stuff that's connotated with the word atheism already um yeah i just i i personally don't think that that's a good idea and i think that atheism i mean excuse me i think that humanism sort of deals with social justice issues already. So that renders the plus unnecessary. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna read some declarations of secular humanism that I think covers the issues that are given priority in atheism plus perfectly. So these are declarations from secularhumanism.org, which I'll, I'll link in the in the blow me section <laughs> okay so we are concerned with securing justice and fairness in society and with eliminating discrimination and intolerance we attempt to transcend div divisive parochial loyalties based on race religion gender nationality creed class sexual orientation or ethnicity and strive to work together for the common good of humanity. I think those two declarations pretty much covers it, you know? So, I hope that this further illuminates where I stand with Atheism Plus. 
I think the Skeptics Conference that was held recently was a good stepping stone in addressing misogyny and harassment that women atheists have and still encounter at conventions and on the internet. But creating a wave within a wave isn't needed to address those issues. I'd probably suggest like an action committee or some sort of I don't want to use the word watchdog group or anything like that, but something like that to address what's going on within the community itself. So, now, I'm going to move on from there and address something that's been bothering me. It's recently come to my attention that one of the main creators of Atheism Plus, Jennifer McCrate, was essentially bullied off of the internet. I read her latest post with uh, Free Thought Blogs, and in it she stated that she's giving up blogging about atheism and feminism indefinitely due to the continuous e-abuse and hate that she's been receiving. You know, things like that really disappoint me and disgust me because we should be able to have discussions about these things without becoming nasty or hateful and we should enter into these discussions being open to the possibility of learning something from each other or even having our points being proven wrong. We're not going to be on the same page about concepts or movements or ideologies but we should be able to air out our grievances and differing opinions like adults. So, I just want to say, to those people who contributed to all that e-abuse that led to Ms. McCrate taking a hiatus, I just want to say congratulations on showing yourself to be exactly like, if not worse, than the supporters of Atheism Plus who succumbed to groupthink and lashed out at other atheists who didn't agree with their point of view and called them assholes and misogynists and chuds. It's people like you who are the problem.